So uh, we are we are fortunate today uh, that we are hosting His Excellency Ambassador of Japan, Mr. Luigi Kuzumoto. Mr. Ambassador, welcome. Mr. Kuzumoto will deliver a lecture regarding the impact of, of the present economic crisis on the economy of Japan. It's a very hot topic, as you know. We are all listening to all kinds of rumors. And uh, uh, Japan is a very important uh, trading and business partner of both. That's why we are very happy that Mr. Kuzumoto, who is in Poland since only five months, uh, accepted our, our invitation. Mr. Kuzumoto, uh, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, uh, students. Uh, I'm so happy, so pleased to see you. And uh, I'm so uh, honored today uh, to be given an opportunity to, to speak to you about uh, my country and uh, on the very hot topic, as uh, has said, about the financial crisis and how this crisis affects uh, my country and so on. Is how happened with Japan 15, 10 years ago? 20 years ago, Japan had a very strong uh, competitive advantage in the world economy and finish. What happened 20 years ago? Because uh, economic crisis for Europe this is last two years for the United States. Japan suffered a lot of metal from 10, 15 years. What happened? As a Japanese, uh, and uh, just five months ago I was Japan, I don't think there's any significant changes in Japan. And only our views have changed. And uh, general surroundings, uh, the, the <coughs> surroundings of the, of the Japan economy in Japan has changed. But I think still, um, the, as I said, the, 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 our economy, of, of course, the, has not uh, the is not expanding so fast and uh, so drastically like before uh, in 60s I explained in 60s yes I remember when I was a university student like you yes Japanese economy showed a very very strong expansion and, uh, at Kushimitsu University I was wondering about when you were talking about how Japan doesn't like to take risks with the economy how you save like to save your money I'm also, I'm from, from Norway, I think the uh, economy a little similar to Japan. We also like to save up our capitals we have as, as reserve. But don't you think it will come a time where you have to maybe take a risk and put your money at stake? For example, I think perhaps not in the distant future, Norway will have to probably come up with something radical to still stay a highly developed country. Thank you. Yes. Now, particularly Japanese banks, uh, they give only if we put the money in the Japanese banks for one year and two years. They provide us only uh, the interest of 0 0.02 or three only. So that means nothing. <laughs> but still, Japanese people we worry about if we put money on the the stocks exchange and others, we might lose. And also, the, the, the problem which we have is that Japan people are very worried about the future. So, uh, if we have some uh, the assurance, some the, the, the clear cut, the, the bright future, maybe we could uh, allocate some money for investment and so on. So, I hope the new government will give much more brighter future. And then Japanese people will think about uh, 
they're not simply putting our money on the West list, like the, the Japan banks. Uh, they maybe as, uh, put aside some money for investment and uh, buy some stocks and uh, some bonds. So called uh, history issue. Still from time to time, uh, they come up. Uh, but uh, uh, I agree very much. They think in consideration of a vital interest. Uh, strengthen our relation between Japan and China. Uh, we should be keeping our memory on the history and the war. We should always try to look forward and uh, uh, strengthen our ties for the benefit of uh, not only Japan and China, for Asian countries, for international community. I think so. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, thank you very much for sharing Japanese wisdom with us and for being so generous with your time. Thank you very much and I, we hope to see more of you in the future here in the premises of Kosminski University. Thank you very much.